my channel. So today's video is going to be answering all of like the questions that I've received so far in my pregnancy. I'm about three months now or just about over that or just reached it. I don't know. I can't pay attention anymore. It's just going by so freaking fast already. So I've received like a lot of like the same questions based on like how I got pregnant or like how many times did I try blah 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 like always the same one so I figured putting it all in a video would be a lot easier than responding to you guys all one by one because it was a lot but if you guys have any more questions that I'm missing um, I guarantee you I will probably make a part two to this video because we still have a long way to go and lots of questions to be asked and answered so don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys and don't forget to push that notification bell at the bottom because then you will receive all notifications of whenever I post a new video and it's going to be an exciting time and I'm so glad that I have you guys with me. So the first question is, how long did it take to get pregnant? Um, I receive this question a lot. Um, actually, I was one of the lucky ones. It only took me one month. <laughs> We decided to start trying in August. We kind of had it planned for a while to start trying in August and I got pregnant right away. <laughs> so I know that there is a lot of complications out there or fertility issues and a lot of girls struggle trying to get pregnant and I can't even imagine how they feel. I went crazy in my two week wait, which I'm going to do another video on that and like what kind of symptoms I had. So I just can't imagine. I am very lucky and very fortunate that it only took the one month. So for girl preference and why? Honestly. I don't care that much as long as it's healthy and we always hear that but if I had to choose I would want girl and he wants boy I want a girl so bad because like think about it like you just want like your little mini me and um, being able to do like all these girl stuff I don't know I just picture having like a small me and just I don't know there's just like so many more cute outfits out there with girls I don't know I it's so hard it's so hard I don't even care I just want to be healthy he wants boy and it just makes sense right like it's our first one so we kind of just want our own like mini self so but either way like I don't really care will you do workout videos while you're pregnant yes so I struggled for two months to try and get to the gym I was very very tired very very tired I was not feeling myself at all it was very difficult but I will talk about that in like my first trimester video as well but I will 100% be doing workout videos while I'm pregnant because now I'm starting to go back to the gym and really getting in there but it is hard to record in my gym so it's been a little difficult but yes I will 100% with all the cravings how do you manage to keep up with good clean eating I actually don't have that many cravings I think Honestly, it was just all in my head and I'm just like, oh, you know what? Like I didn't get to eat um, really like nachos or anything all summer because if you know me well enough, I was doing like a really big challenge for myself. I really wanted to get my six pack and I really wanted to like just set a goal for myself and I literally didn't have any cheat meals really. But then after I was finished that, I ended up getting pregnant at the same time as just being like, okay, like I'm just going to enjoy my food for like the last month. So honestly, like it's not, it's. It's easy because in my head I have like the willpower to just continue doing it but at the same time like I I am also lucky because I haven't had cravings really like I had like watermelon for a bit but I'm mostly just enjoying the food that I want to eat like if I want to have an ice cream I will have ice cream like I'm not really restricting myself like I was before so it's kind of easier for me um, to just be like okay enough Kate like I'm gonna start eating clean again and feel better about myself because Feeling like a potato isn't fun and I can see the difference and feel the difference whenever I feel like crap compared to feeling really good and clean eating. So I want this pregnancy to be as clean as I can, healthy eating and feeling good because healthy baby, healthy life. <laughs> like, I don't know, like I just feel a lot better when I'm my healthy self. Do you already have a name? I know a lot of women fall in love with names before being pregnant. Yes, we already have a boy name, we already have a girl name, but unfortunately um, I'm not going to be revealing that until the baby's born. I'm gonna be one of those that doesn't say a word. So whoever's pregnant right now and ends up having like a boy or girl and same with me and they end up naming it what we've decided I didn't copy you I swear we've already had these names decided literally as soon as I found out I was pregnant we agreed on them we talked about it for a while before so it kind of just really was easier but yeah so I'm not announcing it um there might be like hints throughout the pregnancy but you can take guesses whatever you want to do but yeah I'm not announcing them but we do have two names planned are you guys married no so we decided that we didn't want to get married before having kids and I know it sounds silly and like a lot of 
people always just like judge about that like oh you should be married before you have kids and honestly like no so our plan was we didn't really want to waste money on getting married because we literally felt like we were married no matter what like we've been living together everything's really good and we decide we want our kids to be in our wedding in the future I don't know when that will be but I'm not in a rush for it at all I don't really care <laughs> so I just we both just agreed to have kids before whether we have all of them that we decided before we get married or we have one and then get married I don't know we just wanted at least like one baby in the wedding for later on so I don't know when that's gonna happen you ask him I don't know I don't really care I'm not in a rush how does being pregnant affect your workouts it affects them because I am very tired um I'm bloated I feel like crap <laughs> lately they haven't affected that much like I did lower my weights I'm not lifting as heavy I'm not going as hard I'm really just listening to my body and going with the flow nothing crazy because honestly like if I'm tired and I don't want to do it I'm not gonna do it I'll go for a walk instead so my progress is definitely gonna be a little bit harder although I'm still gonna like push through and do the best I can but the majority of me like gaining weight throughout this pregnancy will be my nutrition that's on point and I want to stay act as active as I can but at the same time I'm going to listen to my body and I'm not going to push myself like I used to even if I was exhausted now I'm exhausted and it's time to be exhausted and enjoy that time and just be a freaking couch potato for once like I'm okay with that so what made you go with an OB and not a midwife honestly I love both of them I love both the ideas I'm not against a midwife I'm not against an OB absolutely not I decided to go with an OB only because I have a lot of sources around me and I know like the midwife is really like good at taking care of you and everything but honestly I have a lot of support I have so much so much support all around me I'm very very interested in like changing like my lifestyle now that I'm pregnant and learning about that I ask questions when I need to and honestly I just didn't really feel like a midwife was really necessary for myself there's nothing wrong with it like I would still go with one if I had to or you know if I felt feel like this pregnancy maybe I did need it um the next one I will go with it but for now my OB has been absolutely incredible my ultrasounds are on point everything's doing really well she's very very caring and I can't say anything bad at all so that was really my basic reason I didn't have like a main reason why I didn't choose a midwife but like I said like I'm not against it and um, this is just what I chose so what was the baby's heartbeat in the doctor's office so the very first time we went to my ultrasound I was almost eight weeks the baby's heartbeat was at 174 and then I got like this Doppler thing from my friend and the same day we went to the OB office and the heart rate was between um, like 165 168 the following day since then it's kind of been between 150 to like well, like kind of between like 145 150 like around that range but today when we went to our ultrasound it was uh I think it was 155 <laughs> I can't remember at all but anyways she said it's in a really good range and where it's supposed to be so cool and I know like there's like theories out there where it's like oh higher lower it's boy or girl I don't know I don't want any of that shit like I think it's just as long as the heartbeats there it's all that matters like okay so I've had a lot of questions about like my greens and supplements that I'm taking Do, am I still drinking my greens am I still taking supplements still uh, drinking like my protein powder or everything like that actually yes I'm taking everything except for my micro factor which were my daily vitamins that I took um, every single day because I switched over to um, a prenatal which the prenatals have a lot of vitamins that I need already in that those capsules compared to taking additional vitamins that was, weren't really like necessary so I kind of like swapped them out I'm taking omega-3s my prenatals and um, every so often I'll take vitamin C and now I'm starting to have um, milk in my diet used to not at all because I would literally poop it out okay like me and dairy aren't best friends like we're not friends at all so it's a struggle but when the doctor was like you really need to like take vitamin D or something and I was like oh I'll drink milk like I'll just deal with it like I don't get sick but I do get like a little bloated which whatever pregnant life I'll get bloated anyway so since then it's also helped my heart burn so milk is my friend lately no poops I feel good it's nice and my greens okay back to my greens I am taking my greens I struggled for um, I think about a month I couldn't really look at them I was struggling like even the smell and everything but now I'm back in it and I feel great um, I absolutely love my greens I need them every single day it really helps with my energy levels and just makes me feel really good like you guys know if you watch my Instagram and you know my greens are my life are you planning on having a birth vlog and showing your birth story so yes I really really want to record my birth okay 
every time I say, I tell my friends, I'm like, yes, I'm going to be like doing like a birth vlog. They're like, huh? Like, what do you mean? Like, they always think I'm going to show my kuka. No, I'm not recording my kuka area where you see everything. Like, no, that's not your place. I'm, if you go on YouTube and watch birth vlogs, like, that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. Like, you're going to see, like, my experience, my labor experience, like, what's going on, and, like, literally the real life shit that I have to go through to give birth to this amazing, amazing nugget. So, yes, I will be doing that. I'm so excited as long as the doctor um, approves it, which I think that normally, like, you can just let them know if they don't want, like, their faces to show in the, wow, in the video. <laughs> I don't even know. I just like brain tooted so hard there. Anyways, if they don't want their faces to show in the um, videos, then there's a way for me to blur out their their faces. So um, I am going to like mention all that when it's close to that time, but not right now. I'm so excited for that. And I want you guys to see the real life of everything. So yeah. Are you doing a gender reveal? Yes, I am doing a gender reveal. So I'm finding out the gender December 12th and my sister and Krista are gonna get the envelope to reveal the gender in there. And then on that weekend, the 15th of December, we're gonna be doing a gender reveal party. I'm hoping and praying the baby will show us its situation so we can find out the gender and reveal it that weekend. I'm gonna record that too. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited. I have a couple of ideas. Just gonna be simple, nothing like crazy crazy, but inviting all my friends and family. It's gonna be a really cute event. I'm really excited for that. So yes, yes. Um, How often did you guys have sex if this was planned <laughs> um we honestly a lot because i don't know how life works i didn't know about ovulation times and all that crap like i really don't know it didn't take me long to get pregnant but at the same time we did the doo-doo quite often <laughs> um so yeah it was literally like every day from like my previous period yeah that I'm sorry if that doesn't answer and really help you out. Yeah, I think it really just depends on like the time period and if you are having a hard time getting pregnant and you've been trying for a really long time, I believe you can go to the doctors and try and figure all that out and they'll be able to like send you on for testing and try and figure out what the issue is if you are having fertility problems. There's so many ways to be able to help that. But um, like I said, I am just very fortunate that it didn't take me very long so yeah i'm sorry if that didn't help but yeah how soon did you have symptoms and what made you think you were pregnant um i had symptoms honestly about a week before i found out that i was pregnant and i'm gonna have a video on all my symptoms and my two week wait so it's gonna tell you all the details so i wrote down literally everything every single day um but the first first thing that made me realize that I was pregnant was the amount of times I was going to the bathroom. So I'm already one to like pee a shitload. So it just like wasn't surprising to me that this was like one of my symptoms because I was going pee like a lot already, but the amount of times now whenever I found out was insane. Like literally every two to five minutes I had to pee and they weren't just like driblets. They were full out peas. So that was my first symptom. Yeah. So like I said, I will go over all that. and It's going to be like a separate video. That's all the questions that I have for you guys today. But like I said, if you have any more that you want to know throughout this pregnancy, like I said, there's a long way to go. We could definitely make a part two to this video. I got to go. I'm hungry. <laughs> really, really hungry. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.